good afternoon everyone. Uh, in this video we're going to be using our Akai MPC key as a MIDI controller to control our favourite DAWs, Logic, FL Studio, Ableton Live and I'm pretty sure that this technique will work with any others. I'm even going to try it with uh, Cubase. So here goes. Right, uh, first thing what you want to do is I'll do it this way so it's easier for me, but you can actually run a PC as an instance inside of um, your DAW. So I'm just going to run this MPC program in the background. Yeah, and then you'll see because the technique is the same for the same thing. All right. So you can see MPC2 is loaded up. My controller, uh, sorry, my MPC key, my workstation is currently in... Um, the normal mode. So what I want to do is I want to go to my menu and then I want to click the MPC logo up in the top right hand corner and then it says enter controller mode. So we go to controller mode, hit OK. It's going to go with this screen. It's going to be, you know, looking for computer for a couple of seconds while it finds my MPC software you can see it's loaded now um, so the next thing what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to load up uh, first of all Logic Pro because that's the one I use the most there we go okay so here we go so we can run any program so one of the things that I got asked earlier is how does it work with um, native instruments stuff so here we have like Massive X we're going to create an instance of Massive X. Now I'm pushing keys and it's not working. So what we need to do now is if we go back to our menu and hit MIDI control or we can hit shift and MIDI control on the controller uh, and then it takes us into our MIDI mode. So now you can hear, hopefully you can hear that. That I'm actually pressing keys and it's working on Massive X. Um, and I can use any synthesizer. Um, there's my sampler there. I, I will even try, you know, Serum, which is another popular one. And, you know, you can surf through your presets as well. Let's try this one. Cool, that's a bit loud, isn't it? But you get the picture. Okay, so that's logic. Uh, so if we close that down. Okay, so now we're going to try FL Studio, which is my second favorite DAW. And as you can see, it loads up really, really quick. We can get a little um, drum loop going. Excellent. You know, um, so if we go and let's put, um, I don't know, Pigments by Arturia this time, yeah? There we go. Um, no, thank you. But let's go to our one of our favourite presets here. Hoverblast, what's this one? You can see that that's working as well. All you got to do in FL Studio, if you go to... Um, options and then if you go to MIDI settings all you need to do is make sure these green lights right here are turned on so the MPC 61 keys public yes and the MIDI port if you want to put anything else in so that's how that works let's close FL Studio no to save um, and then Ableton as well so let's try Ableton so again, we just got to wait for Ableton to load up. There we go. If we go to File Preferences, you just need to make sure that these boxes right here are ticked. And then that way you'll be able to control whichever VST instruments. So let's close that down. Yeah, let's get complete control in there because some people might argue that, you know, Akai and Native Instruments are direct competitors. And here we go. Look, you know, we can we can load. Could not be loaded. Right, okay. Well, let's get something in that says. Is... 
And this is me using my... That's me using my Akai keyboard to control, um, complete control there, you know, and I can get rid of this and swap it for something else. Uh, let's go for... So this is an Arturia synth inside complete control. Excellent, yeah? Anyway, so you get the picture. Let's click quit Ableton Live and we won't save that. Uh, so the next one, Cubase. Now I only have the elements because to be honest, I don't think Cubase is very good value for money compared to all the other DAWs that um, I see here. I think that Cubase is slacking. I didn't buy Cubase 12. I don't even want Q. This Cubase version, to be honest, Steinberg, you need to up your game. It's not 1992 and we're not running on Atari STs anymore. Unfortunately, you're falling behind and I'm, I'm quite happy to say that in this video. Unless you want to give me a free copy and you know, the time to learn it so I can decide otherwise. But anyway, let's go here. Look, just use one of these preset dance production. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. Never mind. Um, so here, look, we've got this, um, well, this pad. <laughs> Which is a Halion instrument. Yeah, we can change that, can't we, I think? If we click here. See, that's how you get your effects. Um, you get the picture. See, look. Edit VST instrument. See, it's just... That's me using Cubase, all right. Um, like I say, it's just clunky and awkward to use. So, you know, um, and that's that. But you get the point, it works. So we quit, uh, quit that. Um, we're not gonna save that. Just takes forever. Cubase takes forever to load up forever to load your VSTs into it look I'm saying that I don't want to save and I'm pretty sure that it's crashed which is really annoying it's just buggy Cubase look sort yourself out crap program Steinberg sorry you're just terrible doesn't work don't know why anyone would want to buy that when you got like an elements version it's just crashing all the time and that's why I don't use it you can actually add in an instance of where is it MPC it's going to be MPC beats I think I'm not sure there you go and now if I add another version of, I don't know, uh, let's put Triton in, for example. So again, like if we just go options, MIDI settings, and then... So what you want to do is go into your MIDI settings. And again, just make sure that these here are selected. And then what you're going to do is you're going to push shift and MIDI control on your keyboard. And then try it and work. So you can hear that, right? Okay. So that's pretty much it, right? 